Hello and welcome to Staff Gymnasium for tonight's matchup, a senior night matchup between the Marshfield Rams and the Brockton Boxers. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Tonight I am joined alongside by Christopher Chebik of the Brockton High School Television Production Club. It's a big one here. Brockton coming off a huge win against the New Bedford Whalers, 90 to 59, the final score in that one. Marshfield expected to be a closer game, Chris, earlier in the year. Marshfield lost to the Boxers by two points. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be a tight game. The Boxers, they really, really gotta bring it tonight. They are currently ranked uh, fifth in the state, uh, according to a couple different polls. And that matchup in the beginning of the year was a really good one, and we all know that this is going to be a highly anticipated game. Well, Brockton was first in the state, undisputed before Newton North came into Staff Gymnasium on Super Sunday and embarrassed the boxers 57 to 40. Abu Kaba, one of the senior captains, missing his first free throw attempt. Marshfield has already converted a quick layup. It's two nothing with 7.29 to go in the first. Kaba good on his second attempt. Kaba has been playing really good basketball as of lately. All seniors on the floor. Abu Kaba, Jerice Harris, Marcus Azor, Jose Montero Jr. and Samuel Darius for the boxers. The odd man out, Jalen Lee who has been injured the last couple of weeks with a sciatica injury. This is number 11, AJ Khan, the senior captain for the Rams. Khan at the top of the key takes a deep three, it's off the mark. Montero with the uncontested rebound. Over to Azor, almost stolen. And now Darius for three, that one's short. Nilter Pina coming down with the ball. Joe Weisgerber. Pina for a two is good. Four to one. Brockton has yet to convert anything from the field. Azor, a long two. This one's off the mark. A little bit of nerves here from the boxers on senior night playing in front of their extended families. This is number 20, Chris Croak. Now Pina driving down low to Khan. Five on the shot clock, Khan stops with it. Now gives it out to Mike Walsh, his two is good as the shot clock was set to expire. Six to one, Brockton's gonna get something going. Kaba takes a three, that's off the mark. And no boxers in the paint. Now Pino all the way on the other end is blocked from Jose Montero and now a foul is gonna be called as Darius, or rather Jerice Harris was run into. He's gonna get called for the push against Khan. So now there's some discussion over who the foul was called on and who should have the ball. The foul was called on Jerese Harris, so it will be a Marshfield ball. Coach Bowen arguing that Harris had the ball, so he couldn't commit the foul. Move it, move it. Three from the corner is good. Joe Weisgerber and nine to one Marshfield. Chris, what does Brockton have to do to kind of get their heads in the game? Rebound and get those people in the paint, start making them shots. Montero missing a two. And again, no boxers Marshfield's remotely play. in the area of the rebound. Marshfield's playing really good small ball. Three pointer. Khan, the first missed three of the night for the Rams, Dries Harris, deep three is good. Brockton has finally converted their first shot from the field. It's nine to four with 4.50 to go in the first quarter. Dries Harris lit it up against in the fourth quarter against the New Bedford Whalers from the three-point range. 
Sonny Okinlola into the game. There's some fans in attendance on senior night. Similar to what football fans have been doing at Staff Gymnasium. Let the cameras go there if they so desire. Montero in alone. Jose Montero misses the easy layup. And Marshfield grabs the rebound. Pina to Kahn. Kahn out to Weisgerber. Weisgerber now to Chris Croak. Croak fouled on its way in. Will be at the line for a couple of shots. Senior guard, good on his first attempts. 10 to four with score, Brockton took about three minutes to convert a field goal. Box is down by seven here, 11 to four. Four, 10 left in the quarter. Okay, Lola intercepted by Pina. And Montero slows up, he would have been called for a push if Pina had sold it even a little bit. Now Croak is blocked by Oak and Lola. They're gonna call a jump ball here and Brockton will take over. Oak and Lola at the charity stripe. Driving inside, he's fouled going hard to the basket. Hamill going to come into the game for the Rams along with Marcelo Louis Charles and Jalen Lee. Therese Harris and Jose Montero Jr. both missing a couple of shots early. We'll take a seat on the bench. Milter Pina comes out for the Rams. Looking Lola good on his Two free throw attempts, 11 to six, Brockton down by five. Mike Walsh carrying it across for the Rams. Now Weisgerber over to Walsh. Walsh driving inside, a wild layup. And Lee comes down with it, off to Marcus Azor. Azor, Kuroke and Lola, his shot blocked. And the Rams come away with it. It's Hugh Hamill with his first rebound. Tim Matheson, the sophomore guard slash forward, going to come into the game for the Rams as they try to extend the lead. Abu Kaba, now Okinola, long two. That one's well short. Lee in the right place, spinning with it. His Put back attempt too long, and Marshfield comes away with it. Hamill can't corral it on the far end, and out of play off of Marshfield, Brockton takes over. Patrick Fitzgerald's going to come into the game as Brockton has a layup. I think that was Oak and Lola down low, 13 to eight, Brockton Nice put back by Okinola. So Chris, early on, it's been pretty much equal action at both ends of the court, but the one difference is Marshfield's shots are falling and they've been much better rebounding. Yeah, the boxes need to get in the paint and get, the, they need to get tough in the paint. Mike Walsh comes out. And hey, Jose Montero hey. Jr. is back in for the boxers. Montero tipping this one. He's in alone again. In oh. alone and alone again. Slam for Jose Montero Jr. That was a well executed steal and well executed dunk. Cut the lead down to three, 13 to 10 with two left to go. 
A loud dunk by Jose Montero Jr. here on senior night. Abu Kaba grabs the rebound, Brockton within one possession. Kaba driving inside, kicks it out to Louis Charles who wasn't in the right place. He was about three feet off. And Marshfield takes over. Boxers keep up this momentum. It could be a long night for the Rams. Fitzgerald. Sending it in for Weisgerber. Off to Kahn. And a Hamill. Good ball movement for the Rams. 10 on the shot clock. Driving baseline, kicking it out to Walsh. And Okinola comes down with the rebound. 1-10 left as Louis Charles takes a three to tie, no good. And another uncontested rebound for Weissgerber and the Rams. And a travel here. 101 to go in the first, it's 13 to 10. Marshfield on top of Brockton, but Brockton sending in a couple of its free throw shooters. Navon Reed. Reed is into the game. Louis Charles had a phenomenal game against the New Bedford Whalers. His number five goes in. He was thinking slam. Had to adjust mid-air as Jose Montero Jr. was closing in. And instead opted for the underhanded layup. Now Montero Jr. throws it into a couple of the Rams. And Tim Matheson is fouled mid-air. Fouling on Jalen Lee. Matheson now with a chance to make it a six point edge for the Rams. Higher release, higher release. Missing on his first attempt. 35.2 to go in the first. Matheson 0 for 2 from the charity strike. 30 seconds left in the first half. Well, first quarter, I mean, sorry. Reed and Lee giving a give and go now. Louis Charles. This one's going to go out of play off of Brockton. Another mental mistake. And Marshfield will take over with no shot clock. 16.6 to go in the first. Nine seconds to go. This is Chris Croak. Croak driving in, three on the clock. He's fouled. Okinola called for the foul. 2.3 left on the clock after the foul shots. It is plenty of time to fire off a half court shot should Brockton be able to get open. This is the first attempt. Croak, Croak from the charity strike. 0 for 3 so far on the night. Finally converts one, 2.3 on the clock. Brockton has a chance here. Montero Jr. will take it. And it comes well short. The buzzer sounds the first quarter has come to an end. It is Not enough 16 on to it. 10. The Marshfield Rams on top of the Brockton Broxers. Chris, what did you see in that first quarter? And what does Brockton have to do to come back from what was once a eight point lead for the Rams? I saw little rebounding from the Boxers. If they want to finish this game off strong, they gotta rebound. Marshfield was all over the rebound offensively and defensively. But the Boxers still have a fight. They'll always come back. Brockton, so far this season, has started off slow, but it's a line with pretty much about four minutes remaining in the second quarter where they turn it on and do not turn it off for the rest of the game. Saw that against New Bedford, I believe it was 36 to 28 at halftime, and Brockton poured in 90 by the end of the night. Yeah, they really tacked it on during the 
about five minute mark in the third, uh, fourth quarter, excuse me, the three points were raining. Boxers start with the ball in the second quarter. A little confusion on the court. Uh, might be a Marshfield ball here. And it is indeed a Marshfield ball. It is a Marshfield ball. They finally figured it out. Finally come to the conclusion. You'd think that they would know between quarters that Brockton fired off the last shot, it would be Marshfield ball. Seems like a pretty simple concept. This is Patrick Fitzgerald trying to get around Louis Charles and a travel called as Fitzgerald went sliding down to the court. Montero Jr. certainly happy to be back this season, missing the last two. Through the torn ACLs, you can see that brace he still wears on his left leg and his excellent putback attempt, one-handed adjusting midair to Junior get that one up and in. having a game. Long three, way too long. Jalen Lee is called for a, a carry. Louis Charles comes out. Marquis Dos Santos is back in. Or in for the first time tonight, rather. This is Mike Walsh for Khan. Khan almost traveled with it. Now Walsh driving inside, nine on the shot clock, a three, four, Weissgarber is good. Man, I'll tell you, Marshfield is really landing their shots right now. It's gonna be an issue if the boxes can't contain it. Montero Jr. had his pass tipped. Reed in the right place at the right time comes down with it. Now Reed has it tipped, but Montero grabs it. A three from the corner for Dos Santos is good. Boxes continuing to play tough out here. 6.15 to go in the first half. And a foul midair by Azor. And Walsh will be at the line for a couple shots. So it's 19-15, Walsh missing his first attempt. Brockton hanging within a couple of shots, but there have been some pretty nasty swings for the boxers. Walsh hitting one of two, five point game, 20 to 15. Azor with the ball. Over to Jose Montero Jr. Back to Azor, down low for Reed off the glass and in. Excellent execution by the boxers. Only down by a triple at the 550 mark in the second quarter. Croak all the way in, finding a lane off the glass and in. Croak putting together himself a nice evening here at Staff Gymnasium. Dos Santos, another three, no good. Montero tipping it to himself. High off glass, might have been tipped. It was indeed, Matt. 
Croak fouled again, and a block's going to be called. I believe they're going to get Reed for that one. Louis Charles is going to come back into the game as Croak. One of four at the line. Make it two of five. 23-17, six-point edge for the Rams. Five and a half to go here in the second quarter. And Croak back to 500 at the line. Dos Santos to Montero to Reed. Had an open shot if he took it quick. Instead gives it back to Montero, back to Reed, back to Montero. Montero now out to Dos Santos, is three off the front of the rim, no good. Croak tipping the rebound, but Abu Kaba grabs it off the glass and in. Five point game, five minutes to go in the second. Jerese the assassin, Harris going to come into the game for Brockton. Croak is fouled by Abu Kaba. Marshfield in a bonus situation. Nine fouls against the Boxers. And we still have 446 to go in a second. The refs originally ruling it would be an inbounding foul, but Brockton has already passed the seven foul limit, so a one-on-one -on -one shooting situation. And Croak back at the line now, four of seven. Twenty-six, nineteen. Brockton down by seven. Montero to Reed. Tipped by Walsh. Montero recovers. Now Harris for three, in and out. Brought down by Nilter Pina. Pina inside, working against Kaba, trying to make a move. Harris. Slaps it out, but it's Weisgerber who comes away with the loose ball. 10 on the shot clock, Pina driving down low, off the glass and in. Halfway through the second, Brockton has taken a dip into one of those nasty swings there, down by nine points. Navon Reed across to Harris. Harris to Montero to Reed down low for Louis Charles back to Reed 10 on the shot clock Navon Reed is called for the travel Steve Kahn is coming into the game hey. 28-19 3.43 left in the second quarter Croak, senior captain. He gives off to Steve Kahn. Now it's Weissgerber. Inside for Pina. Pina finding a hole, but blocked by Kaba. Montero Jr. to Louis Charles up ahead. He puts it off the glass and taking a bad roll off the rim. Boxers down by nine now with three, three minutes to go. Croak called for the travel on the other end. 28-19 as the boxers need to get something going in the offensive end before this half comes to an end. Jalen Lee out to Louis Charles, his three, no good. And another rebound for the Rams. Pina down low spinning, he definitely traveled and they're gonna get him for it. Harris, a long three, and it's good. 
28-22. Marshfield has bled a lot of time off the shot clock as Pina hits another layup. Jalen Lee to Montero. He takes a three, it's off the mark. Weisgerber comes down with it. Now up to Croak. Out of play off of Marshfield. And AJ Kahn's gonna come in replacing his brother Steve Kahn. Hugh Hamill's gonna come in replacing Milter Pina at the next stoppage. Harris, corner three, bang! There he goes again, lighting it up, man. Brockton back within 5, 30 to 25. And a foul committed by Louis Charles. Double bonus situation now for the Rams, 140 to go in the second. Marshfield sending everyone back. As Walsh misses his first attempt. Marshfield having a, an abysmal night at the free throw line. Yeah, they need to figure out what they're doing at the free throw line. But let's talk about Harris. He is lighting it up from the three. And as he puts one. up one. No good, Louis Charles tipping the rebound to Jalen Lee. His pass off the mark from Montero who recovers. Abu Kaba driving from the charity stripe off the glass and in. It's back to a one possession game, 30 to 27. Royce Gerber is fouled. Julius Harris called for the hold on this one. And Joe Weiss Gerber, the senior guard at the line for a couple of shots. 109 to go in the second quarter. Dos Santos is gonna come in for Harris. And if there's one member of the boxers at this stage of the game that you don't want to see get into foul trouble, it is Drees Harris because he has definitely had the hottest hand tonight. That is definitely true. He is lighting it up from the three-point range. Jalen Lee has his pass blocked, but Crockton recovers out of play off of Marshfield. Cabot Lee, he takes a three and it's good. good. Two point ball game, under a minute to go in the second. 32 to 30, Marshfield on top, Brockton with the momentum. Croak might have traveled a bit. Inside, intended for Walsh, instead taken by Kaba. Jalen Lee, pump fake for three, gives it to Kaba in the paint. His two is no good. Lee grabbing the rebound over everybody. Kaba was run into on the way up. No foul call. Shot clock off. 15 seconds to go. Marshfield's going to hold off for last shot of the half here. This is Weisgerber. Weisgerber finding a lane, sending it out. And a travel call. 2.1 seconds left. So much like we saw at the end of the first quarter, Chris. Brockton's gonna have enough time to fire up a long shot here. Come on, Smith, get it in One second left, Montero takes it again. The long three off the front of the rim, no good. The buzzer sounds, we're at halftime. Chris, Brockton has drawn within two points and they've put on quite the show, but they have to be wary of those swings where they go down by nine or 10 points and have to claw their way back. Yeah, definitely, but you know, the Boxers are definitely a second half team and we will be seeing some good basketball during this second half. 32 to 30, your score at halftime. Marshfield up by two, Brockton charging. We're gonna step aside, take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. So, I'm kinda new here, but I've noticed a trend. 
my human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello? That's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek. Morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. Plus. That's a major key. Another one. Another. More will talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused, fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise, Louise, can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at getschool.com. Just so I know when they're done. She's being accompanied by her mother, Liliana Alves, and father, Dr. Rosa. Next is Senior Captain Alexia Montero. She is being accompanied by her mother, Tracy Lopes. And lastly, Senior Captain Victoria Von George. She's being accompanied by her sister, Elizabeth Von George, and father, Timothy Von George.
Now for our boys basketball team. I want to thank everyone for being here tonight. This is our last home game. We will have home games in the tournament and hope we see you then. And thank you to Marshfield for being here. Our first senior is Sam Darius. His mother is Adelia Darius. Makir and Amos Darius are his brothers. Coach Rooney. Our next senior is Jerese Harris with his mother Tina Anderson and his brother Jawan Harris. Our next senior is Jalen Lee with his mom, Stephanie Presley Lee, and his dad, Oval Lee. Next, we have our three captains. First captain is Marcus Azor with his mother Leonid Azor and his dad Irving Azor. Our second captain is Abu Kaba with his dad Saku Kaba and his brother Ahmed Kaba. And our third captain is Jose Montero, Jr., with his dad, Jose Montero, his mom, Renee Montero, and the rest of his family. Are they, are they all coming out here? Okay. Coach Fisher. <laughs> Thank you all very much. We'll see you in two weeks for the tournament. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the Marshfield Rams and the Brockton Boxers. And you just saw uh, Marshall Louis Charles tie the game. 32 to 32. Brockton has had three swings now where they've gone down by nine or 10 points. And then they've charged back and then they've fallen off again. Chris Chubbuck, my broadcast partner tonight. Chris, How you doing, Matt? What does Brockton have to do to stem the tide of those swings? Because there's been three of them and they've really brought us to this point. One word, rebound. They keep up their rebounding. This sure will be a great game for the boxes. 
Therese Harris, the leading scorer for the boxers. He's got nine points, all coming from behind the three-point line. Chris, talk about his performance tonight. As I said earlier, he's lighting it up. He is lighting it up for sure. Can't wait to see what he does in fourth quarter action. Sonny Oak and Lola just hit a free throw to give Brockton their first lead all night. Let's see if they can keep it. Milker Peanut grabbing the rebound. Nice. Now Peanut down low, might have been blocked by Oak and Lola, who has the ball for the boxers now off to Abu Kaba. Kaba working his way in, his shot off the glass and in. And Marshfield's gonna call a timeout as Brockton has taken a three point lead, 35 to 32, exactly one minute into the second half. Brockton's already up by three at the start of the third quarter. Seven minutes to go. Brockton has taken their first lead, already playing a little bit more inspired than they were in the first half, Chris. And with the lead, do you see them going back into the, those swings that we talked about, or do you see them charging ahead and taking a, a semi-big lead like we saw against the New Bedford Whalers? If they play good defense and they can rebound well, I can see them taking it and torching. It's Oak and Lola, Louis Charles, Harris, Jose Montero Jr., and Abu Kaba. For the Rams, it's Milter Pina, Mike Walsh, AJ Kahn, Chris Croak, and Joe Weisgerber. Weisgerber has it now. The boxes really play a great press defense. Weisgerber three is no good. Pina grabbing the rebound but losing it. Walsh getting composure now. Croak. And Oak and Lola not only comes up with the block, but then running into Weisgerber as a foul is called. Weisgerber is definitely shaken up. Peter, he has three, right? I'm going to call a block against Weisgerber, who got completely flattened by the freight train named Oak and Lola. Montero brings up the ball, has it to Oak Noah. Harris one-handing it, looking for Montero on the other side. Out of play, off of the boxers. Marshfield takes over. 6.21 to go in the third. Milton, every first pass goes to the middle. Uh, here we go. Press offense, press offense. Wes Gerber in cleanly for Mike Walsh. Walsh, the sophomore guard. He's gonna be careful of his feet. He's dangerously close to the half court line. Now gives it to A.J. Kahn. Kahn driving inside, spinning with it. His shot off the glass and in. Get it up, get it up. Good job, A. Hey, no time, get him. Go, get him up. Montero to Cabo, back to Montero. Jose. To Marcinal Louis Charles, now to the corner for Harris, who was thinking three all the way. Instead gives it to Abu Cabo, who is fouled. A block is going to be called on Croak. Abu Kaba will be at the line for three uh, free throws. On the other side at the charity stripe, Watch the Rams press. have been lackluster. One hey, could press call offense. it. Press offense. 10 of 16 in the first it. half for the Rams no, he can't at the out. free throw line. A, that's a lot of free throws to be taking in a half. That is true. And B, I don't know that you can go 60% at the line and expect to win against a team that is as potent offensively as the Brockton Boxers. Yeah, that's true. Boxers, as we know, a good free throw shooting team. Let's see if the fouls will hurt them in the second half, though. Harris tipping it to Montero Jr. inside. His finger roll, no good. Kaba sending it out to Louis Charles. Wide open three is gonna come up short. Okanlola grabbing the rebound. Brockton, count it in, one for Sonny Oak and Lola. And Croak has his third personal foul. Well, 
you said the magic word would be the key to the Brockton boxers stemming the tide of those swings of eight or nine points for Marshfield. Already in the first three minutes of the second half, we've seen better rebounding for the boxers. Yeah, they definitely have improved in that aspect of the game. Their defense has definitely improved too. They've only allowed Marshfield to score two points in the second half. Pina high off glass, no good. Great defense, Harris comes up with the ball. Let's see what he does with it. Drees Harris, deep three is short. Off the mark. Had the accuracy, just not Had the distance. Had the accuracy. Gives that a little bit more power and you got a nice triple for you. AJ Khan, three, no good. Into the awaiting arms of Abu Kaba. Over to Oaken Lola, reverse layup is good. And Marshfield's gonna burn another timeout. Now down six, 40 to 34, 425. Left in the third quarter, Chris. Brockton has turned it on coming out of the locker room. They definitely have. They have scored 10 points in this quarter already. They are lighting it up, let me tell you. Therese Harris, early candidate for player of the game. A couple of big threes, but Sonny Oak and Lola, his performance in this second half has been nothing short of amazing. Oh, nothing short at all. He's been performing like we all know he can, him and Abu Kaba. So Chris Brockton lost its first and so far only game of the season just four days ago on Super Bowl Sunday here against the Newton North Tigers. They've since put up 90 points on the New Bedford Whalers and are putting together quite the comeback run here against the Marshfield Rams. They've got a few games left, all of which are on the road before the tournament. If you're Brockton, what do you have to do to get ready for that tournament? You don't know the opponent. You're pretty much guaranteed a home game here at Staff Gymnasium at this point, but you don't know the opponent, and you don't know what kind of team you're gonna have. Tejon Glendardi's out tonight. Um, you know, you, you just gotta you know, continue to do what you've been doing all season. You know, the Newton North game, the Newton North Tigers are a tough team, let me say that. You know, they've, they've taken down a couple, of really good top 15 teams in the state. And you know, the Brockton Boxes, they did fall short, but hopefully the Brockton Boxes do face them in the MIAA playoffs and they do win that game because that would be a great game. Joe Weisgerber in for the Rams. Now Walsh, short two is good. Get in it. Get in it. Marshfield has put up four points so far in this first four minutes of the second half. Now it's Weisgerber. Over to Matheson. Matheson driving baseline. Nowhere to go with it. Able to get it out to Weisgarber now. Hamill. Hamill spinning two, no good. Okinola with the rebound off to Abu Kaba. Harris corner three. No Wide good. Open. Fighting for his own rebound. It goes to Croak. Croak one handing it up for Matheson. Three, no good. Okinola with yet another rebound. Harris out to Louis Charles. He takes a long two, and that's good. Brockton's going to take over him. Big mental error for the Marshfield Rams. Number 11, AJ Kahn, when he went to inbound that ball, stepped over the inbound line. Kaba loses it, bouncing around. Marshfield comes up with the ball. Hugh Hamill. Now a deep three for Khan, no good. Put back attempt is converted. 42 to 38, back to a four point game. Two and a half to go in the third. Jalen Lee back in. He takes a long two, air balls that one. Kaba grabs it, counted in one for Abu Kaba. 
And Croak has his fourth foul. Four fouls on Chris Croak. He is probably done until the latest stages of the fourth quarter. This is where that good press defense comes in. 2.15 to go in the third quarter. This is Sam Wheeler as a new look Rams team. Box is up by five with two minutes to go in the third quarter. Montero over to Cava for a lead back to Cava. Cava over to Dos Santos. His three is good. A big three for Marquis Dos Santos. His second from beyond the arc tonight, and the box is back to an eight point lead. Wheeler over to Matheson. Matheson almost committing the travel over to Hamill. Back to Matheson. Loose ball, Kaba grabs it, sends it quickly up to Junior Montero, and a He's block fouled. is gonna be called. Now Joe Weisgarber. The fourth foul on Weisgarber, so for those keeping score at home, Two of the three Marshfield captains have four fouls against them and we are not yet at the end of the third quarter. Yeah, the Marshfield Rams are really getting into foul trouble. They already have six fouls this half. They gotta keep those fouls down or else they are going to be in deep trouble in the fourth. Montero misses the second free throw. 49, 40, a minute 20 left in the third quarter. This is Tim Matheson. Matheson over to Alec Cometti. Now it's Patrick Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald working his way inside. His shot no good, Okinola, yet another rebound. We've heard his name a lot here in the third quarter. Yeah, he's really making a name for himself in this third quarter. Read off the glass, what an assist by Sonny Okinola. He has the good eye right now, Matt. He has the good eye. Montero's gonna be called for a reach. Against Matheson. Only two fouls committed by the boxers, Chris, so far in this third quarter. Quite the difference than what we saw in the first half. Big step up, you know, they're playing that really good, smart defense, and that's why they've only allowed the Marshfield Rams to score eight points this quarter with 37 seconds left to go. Down low was Wheeler off the glass and in. About a minute, uh, second, excuse me, difference between the shot clock and the game clock. I actually think the game clock might even be ahead of the shot clock. Brockton holding on for the last shot here. Dos Santos takes a three, nine seconds left off the side of the backboard. Marshfield has it, Matheson in alone. His layup no good, one second left, and Okinola is gonna be called for a block. With 0 0.1 seconds left. Alec Cometti finds himself at the line. I am well, they're gonna reset the clock to 1.3 seconds here. There was 0 0.1 on the clock, so they're gonna put a couple of fractions on. Meanwhile, 
Cometti missed his first attempt. A lengthy stoppage while they try to figure out how to put a fraction of a second on the clock. It's 51-42, pretty much at the end of the third quarter. I mean, you know, you could get a last second shot off, but the chances of that, very slim. There it is. 1.3 seconds on the clock, an entire 1.3 seconds on the clock. Cometti good on his second attempt. Brockton with the ball. And the first two quarters have ended like this. This one's going to be tipped above the sounds. End of the third quarter. It's 51 to 43. Brockton on top. Brockton putting up 21 points in that third quarter. We are going to have three different Marshfield players coming in at the, this break. To this point in my broadcasting career, I have not seen the same team have the ball with a few seconds left at the end of the first three quarters. Brockton has missed on all three of those long court attempts, but still, they've had the opportunity. Yeah, and it's, almost, it's actually been by the same player every single time, Junior Montero. That's pretty nuts. We'll have to get a research team on that to see when the last time that a single player has taken the last shot of every single quarter. Who knows, maybe he'll get it in the fourth quarter too. 51-43, it's an eight point lead for the boxers. Chris, talk about Brockton's performance in that third quarter and the key word, as you mentioned, rebounding. Simply, they put up 20 points in that quarter. It's the most that's been put up in a quarter so far, and they have been playing outstanding. They only they allowed 13 points that quarter, but they've been playing much better defense. They've been rebounding a lot. They're playing a lot better ultimately. The biggest surprise to start this fourth quarter is that Chris Croak, senior guard, back on the floor for the Rams. He has four personal fouls as does Joe Weisgerber, who is also on the floor. You know, one more foul and he's out the game. It's AJ Kahn to Weisgerber, he's blocked by Montero, who swats it to Sonny Okinlola. Okinlola driving inside, he turns it over to Weisgerber. Now Kahn in the corner, being guarded by Junior Montero. Dos Santos trying to come up with a steal on Croak. Weisgerber three, no good. Kahn down low, grabs the rebound and puts it up and in. This fourth quarter is going to get really interesting. Let's see how it plays out for the boxers. Up by six with seven minutes left to go. Jalen Lee down low. Make that eight. In. Abu Kaba getting ready to come back into the game for the boxers. He is going to brunt of the work on the defensive ends tonight. Nivon Reed called for the block. And Croak will be at the line for a couple shots. Ready up. Get ready up. Back. Stay five on this one. Go. Stay five on this one. Croak good on his first attempt. Kaba and Azor into the game. Dos Santos, Oak, and Lola come out. Broke six of 10, make it six of 11 at the line. Boxes have only committed four fouls so far, while the Marshfield Rams have committed six. Azor to Jalen Lee. Lee driving baseline, throwing it off of one of the Rams. And Gotta start Hamlet. doing smart plays. Weisgerber three, no good. Uncontested rebound for Abu Kaba. 
He lost it on a playoff of one of the Rams. Louis Charles back into the game, replacing Jalen Lee. I don't think anybody expected the boxes to come out with this record that they have, only losing one game. Like we said on Super Bowl Sunday to the Newton North Tigers, they have came out fire this, um, this season. They are playing to an ultimate standard. Navon Reed for three, puts the boxes up by 10. Oh, Chris, the other big surprise this season, Brockton's two big men, 6'7", Eldon Terry, got kicked off the team last Friday. Tejon Glenn Darty, I've been told, has decided he was hit in the head against the New Bedford Whalers. He's out for two weeks, at least, in the concussion protocol. As Montero Jr. It's a big three to put the boxers back up by 10. Junior so Montero's really star, um, starring in this game. Almost so, another turnover by the Marshfield Rams. So Chris, Brockton playing out without their two tallest members. 6'7", Eldon Terry, 6'6", Tejon Glenn Darty. And that's a complete shift from the strategy that they've employed for the first 17 games of the season. Yeah, those big men really meant a lot to this boxer defense because they really were two good defensemen. But you know, the boxers still playing tough against this Marshfield team and it's out of bounds on number 11, AJ Khan, the senior guard. Boxers will retain the ball. But as we said, you know, those two big men, you know, they really meant a lot to this offense and defense. And if Doherty comes back in time for the playoffs, the boxers should have a good defense. Montero to Reed. Back to Montero, Kaba to Louis Charles. Now to Azor, 10 on the shot clock. Kaba for three is no good. Nivon Reed, put back attempt, no good. Not a playoff of Brockton. Chris Croak over to Khan. Khan back to Croak. Weisgerber down low is good. Now the Rams defense is starting to play press, but not pressing as much as the boxes. These are a bad angle shot, and Abu Kaba out of nowhere. That was down a one-handed slam. I'll say that was the play of the game, Matt. That was an outstanding alley-oop. The Boxers get the rebound. Azor's shot wasn't going in. Kaba saw that from nowhere as Montero for three, no good. Re-tipping the rebound to the Rams. Kaba realized that the shot wasn't going in, flew in from about 15 feet out, and one-handed, grabbed it mid-air, and slammed it home. Azor gets the rebound, reads with it. No good for the field goal. Brought down by Hugh Hamill. Now Weissgerber up to Kahn. Kahn, three, is no good. Louis Charles. Gives off to Abu Kaba. Three and a half to go on the fourth. Ten point edge for the boxers. Marcus Azor with it now. Three fifteen to go in this game. Ten on the shot clock. Louis Charles. Now with five. To Abu Kaba inside for Navon Reed off the glass and in with three on the clock. Now this is boxer basketball. As we said, the boxers are a second half team and they are playing well as can be. Hugh Hamill calls for the offensive away from the ball foul. That puts Brockton in a one and one bonus situation. And there will be a discussion. That's on Hugh Hamill. 
And it's just going to be an inbound and foul. So that's, that's an interesting call because the foul was away from the ball. But it was the seventh foul against the Rams. Louis Charles for three. They are sure lighted it up in this second half, as we said. Acrobatic layup by number 20, Chris Croak, but couldn't fall. Two and a half to go, Azor with the ball. Brockton has started to play the clock game. Abu Kaba off the glass, and then put back attempt off of Azor's missed layup. 68 to 51 as expected. Brockton is quartered on here in the second half, and Chris, they have run away with it here in the final 16 minutes. You know, they've been playing great basketball. This is boxer basketball. Joe Weisenberger with the three-pointer. The score is 68 to 54 with 150 left to go in this game. The boxers absolutely came out guns blazing in this quarter, and they are taking it away as they have a 14-point lead. Oak and Lola spinning with it, finding a hole off the glass and in. Make that 16, Matt. And Marshfield's gonna burn a timeout. 132 to go. Brockton up 16, 70 to 54. And Brockton's gonna send in Juris Harris, Navon Reed, and Samuel Darius. Let's see what Juris Harris, excuse me, does in this minute and 30 seconds. As we said, Against the New Bedford Whalers, he lit it up in the last five minutes of the fourth quarter with those three-pointers. Do you think he can do the same tonight? Harris has had swings. It takes him a little bit to get going, but once he is hot, look out, because he can hit him from anywhere on the floor. He's demonstrated that numerous times this season. And here on senior night, his parents in attendance definitely wants to show out, especially for his mom, who is the three-point record holder at Massasoit for most three-point shots in a game. Well, I guess it runs in the family then, Matt. We've been trying to set up a, a three-point contest between the two of them for a while. Ooh, Jerice, that would be tough. Jerice is absolutely 100% believes he will win it hands down. So I don't let know. His mom hit a few and then just pour it on. I wouldn't get. I wouldn't take his mom out. Boxers with the steal. Jerry's Harris. Harris all the way in, lays it and up and no misses good. the easy meatball. In an offensive foul against Marquise Dos Santos, called for the push. Matt Donovan, the seniors uh, junior center, into the game replacing. Tim Matheson. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on. One minute to go in the fourth quarter. 16 point lead for the Boxers. Handing off now to Evan Malios. You know, it's Declan Costello. A three for number 25, Evan Malos is good. Or a long two, they're going to call it. So 70 to 56, 40 seconds to go. A 12-point difference between shot clock and game clock. Darius hands off to Harris. Back to Darius. He hands off to Navon Reed. 10 on the shot clock, 22 left in the quarter. Dos Santos put back attempt is good. 15 seconds to go. Jalen Lee comes up with a pretty easy steal. Yvonne Reed, no good. Jalen Lee put back attempt, no good. Ball ping ponging around, the buzzer's gonna sound. And on senior night, Brockton started off slow. They were down nine to one to start this game. Didn't hit a field goal for the first three minutes of this game. And they end up coming back, pouring on 42 points into the second half to get a 72 to 56 victory, Chris. Incredible, as, we, as we've said all game, the boxers start slow, finish fast. Boxers come out with the win, 72 to 56. 
only committing six fouls the whole half. They committed, what did they commit? 11 fouls in the first half? Man. So Brockton moves to 18 and one on the air. They've got a couple of games remaining. All of those are on the road. And then it is tournament bound for the boxers who are expected to be a one or a two seed in the South Sectional Tournament. Chris, you've got one game ball to give to one member of each squad. Who's it going to? Um, game ball for the Marshfield Rams, I would give it to Joe Weisenberger. He was a monster rebounding tonight. And for the Brockton Boxes, I would definitely have to give it to either um, Sagoon Okanola or Jerez Harris. You know, they both had incredible games, and we'll see what both teams can do in the tournament. I agree. I'm giving it to Weisgerber for the Rams. Definitely Sonny Okanola. The second half does not happen the way it did without the rebounding of now the boxer big man, Sonny Okanola. 72 to 56, your final score from Staff Gymnasium. Brockton Boxers get the victory here on Senior Night against the Marshfield Rams. For everyone here at Brockton Community Access and the Brockton High School Television Production Club, my broadcast partner, Christopher Chubbuck. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you in the playoffs. <laughs>